Hello guys. So today I'm going to tell you that how actually you have to set up an EVNG lab in your machine, right? So first of all, I just want to tell you that it is highly recommended you have a good configuration computer, right? So let me show you the configuration of my machine. So do not show you. Let me tell you that I'm having the 16 GB and i5, right? So why I'm saying that one? Because if you are having 8 GB, only then also you can set up but uh, that will be a little slow but you can set up that's not uh, an issue completely but uh, it is highly recommended that you have 16 gb so that your uh, lab and your computer runs smoothly because what happened yesterday i did not dedicated too much hard disk i limited it to 50 gb and uh, then uh, the approximately require you know the files they reached almost 49 gb and uh, all of a sudden that uh, my system stopped working and that's why i have to reinstall that uh, evng setup or in fact the vm so for that purpose only i am recording the session else uh, i was having a plan to give only the brief that how to do it but not to show how to do it but uh, you guys are lucky that uh, by chance my system got crashed and i have to do it uh, so if I'm doing it, so why not to share it with you all guys, right? So don't waste the time. Let's get started. So first of all, uh, what you have to do, you have to install this VMware, right? VMware workstation. So VMware is like a hypervisor and basically that is installed in your OS and it gives an environment to install any other operating system over the uh, same operating system what is installed. It's like uh, uh, means you are having a uh, Windows uh, operating system and uh, over there you are installing in a hypervisor that is this vmware workstation now it will uh, uh, work uh, as a base and over there uh, inside that vmware workstation uh, you can install another os multiple os you can install there's no limit on that one but uh, right now we are going to just install that evng so first of all what you have to do you have to install this vmware workstation although that's not mandatory you can install vmware uh, player uh, VMware VirtualBox is also there. There are a lot of hypervisor available, but uh, right now I am going to use that VMware. So you can also use that, not a problem. Okay, so let me close this coding and all. Okay, so station. Okay. So you can just download VMware Workstation, and uh, if you want, uh, you can install load the pre. Uh, ins download vmware workstation pro but obviously that uh, uh, need to be the payment so you can download uh, workstation uh, free version is available there i'm not sure where it was uh, don't go for the pro actually the main thing is that pro is the paid version you just go for the only the no uh, normal one not the pro professional is uh, just uh, why if you want to pay the money then you can it but uh, uh, i do not recommend you can also download the vmware workstation player okay so so any of the vmware workstation you can download it here from uh, this uh, uh, website right or let's me show you the player as well you can install this uh, vmware workstation 16 player that is the uh, completely free there's no charge for that one uh, you can download this for windows or for the linux just totally on your requirement for whatever you want you can download it right and the next thing you what you have to download uh, once so what i have done uh, i have installed this uh, vmware workstation here right uh, you see that this is a vmware workstation and uh, this is installed in my machine but uh, so this is just installation is quite simple you just download it and simply install it like any of the software there's a no rocket science in that one not in fact rocket science is just uh, no science nothing at all you can just simply ne click next 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 and you can install it and after that one uh, what you have to do you have to download the evng evng download so you can go to the website evng download evng.net uh, make sure that uh, you are going to the right site do not be spammed by any of the fake website this is a professional uh, what we can genuine website so you can go with that one the first one is just paid version right and the second one is the community edition so i'm going to install that community edition okay and the 
I'm going to you can use any of the mirror I'm just uh, using the Google mirror okay yeah here you see that link is available that uh, download VMware workstation player free so you can download directly from here if you, uh, you don't go over there you can directly click it here and it will be downloaded okay so disk uh, you can't view or download this file at time why too many users have viewed or downloaded this file recently please try accessing file once again oh my god why is it like that <laughs> let me try once again oh that's really bad let me try with another browser it should not be like that one right that's available for the download so that should be allowing me to download if it happens with you then also you will be <laughs> quite worried that why it is happening to you right guys okay not a problem so Download EVNG Yep, here it is available. I don't know why it was might be because of the I was using uh, no Microsoft so these guys are so smart they do not allow the other browser to download it so now i can download it i had clicked it i think but the download not started i don't want to restore why is let me click it once again yep now you see that it is started right I think you cannot see the complete window. I cannot just stretch it as well. No problem. So it takes a few seconds. My bandwidth is a little good. So it should be downloaded. The file size is 838 MB, but still, I think that it will be downloaded in a few seconds. So, and another thing you have to download that is the Win SCP. And that we will use later on not right now win scp now win scp is just like a file transfer uh, software we can download it from here to there right so you can just go to that win scp download and download win scp for the windows okay so i have already downloaded it let me show you that how it does look like uh, the symbol looks like this win scp and when i open it it just uh, opens like this one okay so it just uh, tell you that uh, connect to the host so don't worry i will just explain you how it works so meanwhile what, what you have to do you have to download this win scp as well why we need it uh, we need this win scp to transfer the images from your local machine to the uh, vm uh, server or in fact you can say the vm so for that purpose we need it so we will use once our evng vm is installed in our machine okay so i think uh, my evng setup is now downloaded so let's start first let me remove whatever right now i'm having so i'm removing this one remove and uh, now what i'm going to do i'm going to file and new virtual machines okay uh, welcome to the new virtual machine wizard so that is fine typical so i want to go for the typical one not the custom installer disk and the, most of the guys the mis mistakes they does uh, they use installed disk image from 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 here so and they just uh, not able to uh, do that one so use this option i will install the operating system later okay and then just click next you are going to install linux machine over there okay so version that should be ubuntu so that's uh, not an issue with that one let it be like that one ubuntu 64 bit click next okay here the machine name you can give here as a evng and i am giving it as a community fine and uh, location now the default location can be changed so i can browse it and i have just put it on the downloads right so or let it be like that documents uh, or uh, documents machine evng 
community right i think it should be community completely yeah so this is like uh, setting up in a folder in your machine so it will be making a folder uh, like in your my doc uh, documents and then it will be going to the virtual machines and then inside that one it will create a folder like evng community we will see that one okay hard disk i want to give it like 80 gb and uh, do you want to split the virtual disk so i will recommend to store it on disk on a single file okay next and uh, now it want me to do the customized hardware so what i'm going to do i'm going to give it an 8 gb memory here that is we call it the ram okay 8192 8192 that's okay and uh, then processors two processors are fine i don't want to increase total i have uh, 32 but uh, two processors i'm fine and core i want to give how many let me give it uh, uh two cores okay and the total processes course that's four okay that's fine and the next thing that you have to check this virtualize intel vt exp dmd uh, or rvi okay so just check this field then we go to the use iso file so just click on this field browse it okay and we have just downloaded the image so we'll just go to downloads and this file browse it here okay and uh, NAT, let it be like uh, Brist or NAT. So right now I'm just putting this NAT, but if the internet connection will not be working very fine, then we will switch it to Brist. But right now, just let it be like that one. USB controller is very fine. I just want to, whatever the devices I'm using on the my machine, that will be used in my virtual machine, okay? Sound card is also fine. Printer is also fine. Display is auto detector, right? And I think that should be auto use host setting yeah that's not a problem you don't have to change anything uh, that's okay so just close this one and now you see that atzb whatever you have set four cpu cores are available network adapters is net whatever changes you have been done uh, they have applied DAT. okay now just click on finish as you finish it it just uh, makes everything ready and you what you have to do you have to just power on this virtual machine once you make this uh, on now it is starts installing it okay so first uh, language it's asking that so i will go for english okay so i think yeah english that's okay and what you have to do install evbr rescue broken system or install ev evm so i'm going to install ev ng vm so that's why just click enter okay and uh, now is just uh, installing it asking to select english once again okay not a problem my country is india so i will go ahead with that one and now it is detecting hardware that whatever the hardware i'm having okay and it just starts installing slowly so it takes time you have to bear with me meanwhile if uh, this uh, is required i will pause my video and then i will show because it sometimes it takes quite long time right so whenever it keeps on going and if any pop-up comes like where you, uh, it needs your attention or it needs to do something then uh, those things i will tell you meanwhile let it go flow and there's no thing to do just wait and watch okay so meanwhile it's doing it let it do so the host name it is saying to put it as an evng so that's okay i'm fine with that one i hit enter okay and now it is getting time from network time server okay let it get it So, I think it's trying again and again, but it's not getting or something. Based on your present physical location, your time zone is Asia Kolkata. Yes, this is my correct time.
is asking that uh, do you want to use the proxy so if you want to use it you can put it here if you don't want to use it just uh, let it be blank and continue so i don't want to use so i put blank space and just press enter okay So it's uh, asking that no auto uh, no automatic updates. So yeah, I will go with the no automatic updates. Whenever I am installing, then only please update. Do not install them automatically. installation is complete so it is time to boot into your new system make sure to remove the installation media cd-rom floppy so that you boot into the new system rather than restarting the installation so this is asking to remove the cd-rom and the floppies but uh, do not remove them just hit enter and restart it okay just take care do not remove although you don't have anything or cd or drive something to remove but uh, still so now it's installing so it will take a lot of time we can skip that part i can pause meanwhile and uh, then we will continue or i will tell you whenever the any pop-up comes and it needs your attention okay okay guys so now it is asking me to log in it okay so i'm using the uh, username as root right root and the password it's saying as an ev right ev so by default this ev is a password so i'm using that one now it's asking me to type the root password so root password i'm going to set it here okay it's not allowing me the type why let me put tab no Fail to change the password. Type the short name, host name, that is okay. Type the DNS domain name for the system, example.com. I don't want to put that one. Now, this very important part that uh, it is asking me to use the DHCP setting for the IP address or the network adapter on the management. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the static IP because if I use the DHCP, it will change every time and then it's uh, difficult for me to. No, no, remember that from which IP address I have to log on to the AVNG. So I go for the static one and hit OK. So once I hit go with the static, it will be asking me the IP address. OK, so the IP address for the management network. So I'm, give, I'm going to give it 192.168.29.45. Uh, just here you have to remember that whenever you are giving this IP address, make sure that this is in the same subnet of the your computer because if it is not in the same subnet as the IP address of your computer, uh, so it might be that whenever you are trying to access the internet from the machine or this VM, you will not be able to access or if you try to access the internet from any of the virtual machine inside the evng then also you will not be able to 
use that one so it is highly recommended that you use the same subnet from the from which your computer is right so let me show my computer right now uh, if i use my command ip config so you see that my uh, ip address is 192.168.29.13 so i am using that 29.45 i can use any of them or uh, so that does not matter but that should be 29 or something so if your uh, ip address is 192.168 1 dot something so just uh, use that choose that ip 1 dot 100 or 200 or something right okay if your it is uh, 10 dot something then choose accordingly so that is a very important part if you do not do it then you may, might not be able to access the internet inside the lab that's the only going to happen that's nothing else okay so the management 255.255.255.0 so that's as usual there is no change in that one and uh, now it's asking the default gateway so for default gateways 192.168.29.1 dns server i don't have so i left it blank the type, type the ip address of the secondary dns let me put it 8.8.8 or let me put my default gateway 6829.1 okay and uh, type the host name ip address or the ntp for the initial clock sync i don't have any ntp ip address so i leave it blank nothing just hit enter it is saying that uh, proxy server configuration you want to do it no i don't want i won't want to go for the direct connection so just hit enter now it's again done something and it's almost done or uh, there's nothing else we have to do okay so that's our uh, evng setup is almost done it will just ask me to log in whatever the username and password i'm having and uh, i set it like ev the password the default one there's need no change in that one so i'm going to log in with the root and the default password and here i'm logged in with the evng vm my evng is set up it is running and uh, if you give see the message here so this is the same ip what i just set up 192.168.29.45 so what's the benefit of that one if i ping the google it should be working very fine no it is not working okay it is not working not a problem so for that one i have to change some nat setting from here uh, there is an option of the nat adapter let me show it here where it was file edit virtual network editor or preferences so from there uh, we can change that nat adapter right where is the network hotkey display i think in the running we cannot change that one right so we have to stop that one and we have to change the network adapter so not to worry the main thing is that uh, now we have to open the evng right so we will use that ip address same ip address 192 168 29.45 or oh, control alt yep this this ip address 192 168 29.45 so i open any of the browser here okay so sorry i cannot view the file okay this is quite old one so let me just uh, type 192.168.29.45 as i hit enter it will prompt me to a login page okay it's taking some time to prompt me to login page but it will most probably yeah it should because uh, let me ping that ip address 192.168.29.45 so it's pinging so it will come to the login page yeah here it is admin and the password will be the same eve okay because the default one and i press enter and here i am logged on i'm quite happy guys do you know why because <laughs> earlier in my previous uh, setup i was not able to log on so i that my login page was opening but i was not able to reach this page and the real trouble starts once you logged on to this page why because you have set up your evng and uh, you have opened your page but still you can't do anything why you can't do anything because i can set up a lab let me set up a lab like uh, checkpoint okay 
checkpoint and uh, save it once i save it it me opens me a, a page for the devices okay i can put it uh, right click and add new objects here okay so let me add an object here a node so if you see it here there are a lot of devices name a10 thunder or something let me go down go down go down go down more and more and more and more and more and more more you see that this is in the blue color virtual pc vpc so i can add this device and if i go over there in the top of those one so you see that deny right a circle with that cross right uh, stop symbol something like that and what i'm just uh, in the mouse pointer right so if i put it mouse pointer here then it is just a thumb you can just click it here but if you uh, put it in any of the machine if you want to add the checkpoint that's in the checkpoint somewhere here right where is that one uh, this is so you can i cannot add that checkpoint right now because i don't have checkpoint image installed inside the vm so for that one we have to use that win scp and uh, transfer that images what we have downloaded in our local machine to the vm so you can download that uh, checkpoint firewall or, or any of the uh, images from the web or uh, because uh, uh, some of them are paid and some of them are free like checkpoint you can download it free of cost palo alto you can download it free of cost there's no problem with that one some of the uh dan pics i think cisco images you can download it so anyhow you, if you have uh, images you can just transfer it so i will just show you that how to transfer it okay so in my machine i have uh, some of the images like this uh, esa firewall this is the checkpoint firewall this is palo alto and uh, this is i think one of the router and this is a one windows machine so there is a one more uh, criteria whenever you are transferring these files the folder name should be like asav right whenever you are in uh, send uh, transferring any of the file as an asa firewall that new nomenclature should be starting from asav so that you can see on the website of evng that how the uh, name should be there right if you go it here in the web and uh, you can check it here the documentation part right if you go to this documentation uh, you will see a lot of op option here right and uh, there is an option that how to okay so once you click on this how to it gives you the how to add those these devices in your evng so once you click on suppose a checkpoint right this is checkpoint and there is an a detailed description that how to do it and in some cases they also added this images or a screenshot that how to do the things okay but if you talk about the folders there is enough name as a kmu image namings right so you can click on this and you see that for the different devices the naming should be like this so if you are transferring any of the uh, device like a kmu folder name and vendor so what is this vendor and how the name should be what should be the folder name the right folder name is that uh, right now i'm this in this folder asav so this is a folder name and inside that folder we should be giving it name like vir toi tioa dot q cow dot two right so the folder name so if i go to the asav right so the folder name should be starting from this asav so if i if i go it here so my folder name is starting with asav dash after dash or hyphen you can put anything you can write the 992 what i have written or you can mention the version that which uh, software release firewall it is okay and uh, if you talk about the file name so file name should be like vir tioa so that's what i am inside that one when i went get inside of that folder i uh, put the name as vir tioa dot q cow 2 okay so that's how the name should be if i talk about the checkpoint there should be checkpoint somewhere uh, abc cpsg right this is checkpoint and this is a vendor name right this is the column of the vendor name right the so vendor is our checkpoint here uh where is my checkpoint yeah there it is 
so here is checkpoint and its folder name should be cpsg so if my that cpsg is there so i have started cpsg hyphen r81 so the software release of that uh, firewall is r81 so i have put it like r81 okay and the name should be like hda dot qcow dot two so if i go it inside of that one so you see that right now it is then disk files so file so that's why the name is like that one but if it is an qcow file then the name should be like sda dot qcow dot two so let me show the another one for the follow alt okay so if i go for the follow alt mnop yeah this is palo alto right so the name should folder name should be starting from palo alto so i have put the name as a palo alto and after that one hyphen i have put this release 8.0.0 so that is the release 8 and inside of uh, that folder the name should be hda.qcow2 right so this is like uh, Right now I see it that V I R T O I A, but that should be H T A and uh, that uh, uh, V I R T O I A. Both are almost similar and they work. There's not a problem with that one. Although they have mentioned it here, V I R T O I A. You will see that if I my file name is although H T A, uh, but still it works. Right. So I think it might be because of release as well. So I think it's if you are doing by yourself it's a very good idea to go whatever the documentation is given because uh, uh, it's in some cases if it does not work you are uh, no one to blame right so it's always a good idea to go with the uh, documentation whatever the evng website is saying you have to use those things okay because the for the Palo Alto release 9 i am using this uh, virtio a. but uh, i remember both of them was working very fine there was no problem in any of the releases so what i am going to do i am going to transfer all these folders to the vm so for opening the vm i have opened this vnscp right this is a vnscp next thing what i have to do i have to connect to the uh, vm server right our evng machine so for that one i will click on the new session it will ask me to log on so the ip address i will log on 192.168.29.45 okay and the username you should put root and the password as you know and right now i am just uh, logged on so it's asking me giving me some security warning because earlier also i was using with the same ip address so it was using some other sha method and now it is going to use something else so that's why i was asking to update if uh, uh, you are using it first time it will ask you to the new right so i'm going to update it not a problem that's just a warning you don't have to do anything now it is very important to put the files on the right path so first thing that uh, what i'm going to do i'm going here on the my documents and in the learning where my images are there they are in the i think uh, cisco networking most probably iso images and these all folders i have to transfer the most important part that where i have to transfer you see that here it's labs it's showing but you don't have to transfer it here you have to reach in some other folders you can see that there are two dots here right you can just click it here and now you see that lot of folders here so you have to go to the opt opt there will be somewhere opt yeah here it is just double click or hit enter then you see the, all these options now you have to go to the unit lab okay unit lab and inside that unit lab you have to go to the add-ons you went to the add-ons and now you have to go for uh, inside the uh, this key new folder so if you see it here uh, in the evng website so that's why they call it as a kmu right uh, you might be saying that why they are, have used this name kmu so that's why they are using because that inside uh, we are using right you this is the address where we have to file, transfer the files so if you don't uh, have that location you can look at it here but i remember it because i have done i think five or ten times so i remember the location where i have to transfer so next thing what you have to do you have just a simple drag and drop i'm selecting all of them or you can do one by one there's not an issue so i'm just transferring all of them together
so it will take some time because that's really quite data some of the images are 2 to 4 gb like some of the firewalls i think this checkpoint that was around 4 gb palo alto was around uh, 1 to 2 gb right so if i click it here in the file you said that this size is 2.97 gb this file is 1.85 gb this is 3.92 gb this should be less 195 mb only and this should also be less 122 mb this should be high a little bit 6.72 gb oh my god this is windows machine actually <laughs> so this is a windows machine when i use it it's like you know inside that vm it open as windows 7 so win 7 is like windows 7 so it's i think <laughs> a father of all these <laughs> firewalls and devices so that is about 6.72 gb not a problem uh, let's wait it to the install it that how much time it takes so meanwhile i can stop it yeah, or pause it so you can just uh, save your recording time okay now all the devices images are being transferred to the machine right so now let's see that whether we can view it on the uh, our evng setup or not okay now let's try to add them note and now you see that our checkpoint gateway is visible okay cisco asa that is highlighted that is allowed cisco router one of the router <laughs> okay that is available now and uh, palo alto i think yeah palo alto is now available now i can add it okay so and uh, our windows machine so now let me add our one windows machine and the ram i want to get it 2048 not 2496 2048 save it okay so here is my machine i want to add one more node here let me add uh, what should i add let me not add anything you can add any of the devices not a problem so but main thing is that i want to show you the machine so that's i'm really interested to show you that how does our windows machine look like okay so it just it starts like uh, i think i have opened like uh, the very important thing i have missed it i do not miss you to do it whenever you try to log in the machine okay so try to log in with the not with the native console try to log in with the html5 console so whenever you do it with this stable 5 console it opens it whenever you do with the that one it sometimes it does not open okay so i click the machine and now it is opening a new windows 7 machine so that's a really good thing i think you cannot see the task bar here right so how can i do it let me how can i show you let me you page sort of the browser i think now you can see it right uh yeah here it is oh oh no hold on guys hold on just wait just wait yeah it's okay now i will do like this and uh, i will not don't want to restart my machine right now restart later and let me open the command prompt of my which one vm right so inside my vm there is a computer and that is working very fine i want to see the ip configuration of that machine that what is the ip address so this ip address is 10.1.1.1.10 perfect so if i want to run internet on this machine what i have to do first i have to shut down it <laughs> so why i shut down it because whenever i'm trying to connect it to this any of the device or internet there is a thing like network okay and i can connect it to the management cloud zero but if i want to connect it the machine should be in the shutdown state so now i can connect it via network to this machine okay so it has been connected to the ethernet zero interface and save it now i will restart this machine once again so the restarting earlier was my mistake so i corrected it now and then i restarted once again so let me click double click this machine once again okay it's not opened so oh, here it is so it's starting my windows i am really excited to do it okay here it goes it's starting my windows 7 and uh, yes it is let me open the command prompt of this ip config 
and the IP address once again is 10.1.1.10. But my uh, IP address of my network is it starts from 192.168.29.10. So I will go for the uh, change the IP addresses. So I will go to that adapter. So one of my local area adapter. Uh, you can directly click it here and you can go like that. So I will change the setting IP address. So I will try to do with the IP address automatically. Let's see that if it gets IP address, if not, then I will uh, give it a static IP. So let me check what it has got. Does it get the IP address? I think it looks like because whenever you get this window, it means that uh, it has gone a very good thing, right? So let me check the command prompt that what IP address it has got from the automatic IP config. So you see that uh, IP address oh, 192.168.137.131. It has got from that range, but it's still the main thing is that the internet is working very fine. Why we got this IP address? Anyone having any clue? I have a little clue. Why? Because in my machine, there are two adapters. Let me show my adap adapters. Uh, run ncpa.cpl. Okay, so there are two VM adapters, VM net one and VM net eight. So if I set check the IP address of these one, VM net one and VM net eight, VM net one and VM net, where is the eight? Where is my VM net eight? No, VM net one is very fine. That's twenty nine dot ninety, and uh, VM net net uh, 829.50 so i don't know from where it is getting it is getting from some other uh, ip address but the main thing is that uh, now i can open the uh, it's really mystery for me as well that how it is getting that ip address it should not get from that range and if it gets it then the internet should not be working but anyhow uh, it is uh, getting and let me open the chrome inside my vm if i am able to reach the internet or not Okay, so I open uh, Windows Chrome and if I open the google.com, hit here, it is opening very fine. Let me open my website if it opens. Last time it was not open, <laughs> let's see if it is opening now or not. Last time it was giving some time sync error or something, so it was not opening. Okay. I think it is trying to open. So that's how I think that's it. I'm just uh, wasting your time now. So the most important part is that if you give the IP address in 29.45, so even if you uh, no assign, so any of the computer, right? It, not like this computer, what I have added here. If you uh, add any of the computer in this uh, topology and that uh, internet will be having internet access and it can reach any of the uh, server and you can download any of the software and use that one right so that's what is the purpose of that so i think it's not available so not a problem so that's just uh, so main thing is that if google is working then we just check that everything is fine and we are having the internet connectivity so that's the main thing so that's it guys uh, and uh, i think by this way you can set up your own lab and uh, now you also know that how to make the connections you just have to drag and uh, drop a uh, device that uh, it works you connect it make topology make a lot of configuration enjoy it ask question to me i will be really happy to help you guys okay guys till that bye bye see you soon yeah see you soon <laughs> okay bye bye